Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about 5 tips and tricks to maintain clean workflow in Houdini. And I will run demo also to it's easy to understand. So let's jump right in with tip number 1. Name and color your nodes properly. I know it's very basic but it's worth mentioning. I'll just show you what I mean by that. Let me take a geometry. So I'll just load this asset. I'll just color this. I follow this color for assets. So it's basic assets, stone and base, right? And for out nodes, I can use this color. So it's easy to identify the node. And second is very important scale visualizer. Okay, so when we load geometry from under the software and there is always scale difference and I generally use real scale for simulations, right? And here, how do I figure out what scale of this geometry? Let's give this color. And here I will use object merge and I will use this into this object. So when I scale down this object, so it will import those transformation as well. Okay. Let me call this geometry. And best way to figure out real scale is so you can just compare the actual human scale here. Right. So I generally compare with this or you can just use box also in some cases. Right. So I'll just follow this and here I'll just stamp this object in centroid. So for that I'll use pack. So it will give me centroid point. Right, so I have this point, I'll just copy stamp it. Right. So now we have this scale visualizer and I'll just create one camera as well. I want to scale down this both node. I'll just create one null and I'll just link this. Let me just scale down. Now you can see, right? So I'll just pin this viewport over here and you can see, yeah, right? So it's easy to understand and you can just, you can switch this with box also and where you can just follow the scale. Yeah. So I, I'll just follow this scale over here for my simulation. And also like after simulation and everything, you want to export this geometry again to the software so you can just scale back on so for that you can just use this copy this use divide and paste and this is objects original scale right and also do subscribe let's organize this bit and And you can also connect here as well. So it will take this here and you can just maintain this clean structure, right? I would suggest you can use this network box and and third one is use doc shops. And now also you have noticed that Houdini is creating this RBD solver, pyro solver at shop levels, right? And, and if I use shelf over here, then it will give me this auto dot network over here. And I would suggest you can use shop networks and there are lots of advantage of this. So I'll just show you some of over here and I'll just let me rename this. I'll use RBD. Let me call this asset over here. Subject. Yeah, so it's packed now. And I'll just quickly unpack this. Yeah. 
so I have this path sorry I have this path split let's shatter this also right so i want to run rbd simulation on this if i use this shelf it will give me auto adopted at object level but if i create one dot network inside here i'll just rename this rbd sim then it will create that arbitrary structure top network inside that node spec object right so you can see over here it's created that network and let me just add gravity and here i'll just use this static object also and it's showing me uv's over here let me just disable this static object shift s round this wires to highlight this you can keep it bright red yeah so it's working this applies to everything including flip and everything what's advantage of this so here i have this source and this top and if i want to run like bunch of test simulation then i can quickly copy this right so like four different part i can keep a different simulation and this is something like tough to deal with object level right so i have to like create and it will look very messy over here but here you can just follow the structure and you can use network boxes and everything to maintain that clean flow object merge this is like basic demo to understand what i mean by object merge and where so for example i want to render this node right so i'll just rename this render and i give this color here i want to merge this object so i'll just use merge and connect this and now because of this you can see it looks very messy and this is just a example of one nodes and i'm sure you will be like working with very complex nodes and in that case like this looks very messy and how we can avoid that and you can use just object merge and you can just call this base over here right so you can just use reference and you can also keep both colors same to to understand right and yeah so you can use this many times quick marks and now we have stage task and material right so you can just use quick marks for each steps and to create it's very easy just you can you hold control plus 1 for shop level control plus 2 you can just keep anything for out control 3 and for stage i'll use control plus 4 5 so when i press 1 i'll jump to here and 2 it will take me to shop level 3 4 and in then i want to give one bonus tip also and which is very very useful let me just okay so i have this geometry i want to group this area right so i'll use group and bounding i can use this snapping but sometime i want to take a specific area right so how do i do that for that you can just go here go to selection mode and select any node over here and press t and it will give you position points 
can just copy this paste over here and that's it from me and, and thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks